an outlier is a value that is significantly higher or lower than most of the values in your data. When analyzing data, these values might end up giving misleading results. To identify outliers, we can use a method called a leveraged interquartile range, IQR. The interquartile range is a measure of where the beginning and end of the bulk of your data lies. It is simply the data that lies in the middle 50%, between the 75th percentile and the 25th percentile. Interquartile range is calculated using the formula IQR equal to Q3 minus Q1. Q1 is the first quartile of the data. Q3 is the third quartile of the data. A quartile consists of a quarter of the values in the data. When the data is sorted from the smallest to largest values. The first quartile Q1 consists of the lowest 25% of the data. Similarly, the third quartile Q3 consists of the values that are just above the median, values that are between 50% to 75% of the data. These quartile values can easily be calculated using the quartile.inc or quartile.exe functions. For example, to get the outliers for the scores of students in column B, use quartile.inc function. Use this formula to calculate the first quartile. Pass B2 to B14 as the array parameter. Pass 1 as the quart parameter. The formula returns the first quartile. To get the third quartile, pass 3 as quart parameter. The interquartile range IQR is calculated by subtracting Q3 minus Q1. Once you have the Q1, Q3 and IQR values, you can use these three to calculate the smallest and largest values of the acceptable data range. They are also known as lower bound and upper bound. Subtract the IQR from Q1 to get a lower bound and add it to Q3 to get the upper bound. This method can result in too many outliers. Use leveraged interquartile range. Expand the middle range by a factor and establish fences. By multiplying the interquartile range by a factor, we can expand the bounds to isolate the truly extreme values. Any data outside the fence is considered an outlier. The fence factor used is 1.5. Fence factor of 1.5 excludes values that you consider outliers. Simply adjust the factor up or down if it doesn't fit your data. Any value that is smaller than lower bound or larger than the upper bound are the outliers. Use this formula to calculate the lower bound limit. Multiply the IQR by 1.5 and then subtract it from the Q1 value. Calculate the upper bound using this formula. Multiply the IQR by 1.5 and then add it to Q3 value. Outliers are the scores that are lower than the lower bound or higher than the upper bound. Use this R formula to return true for those values that are outliers. This formula returns a true if the score is an outlier and false otherwise. Copy the formula down. A true indicates an outlier. We have two values as outliers. Rose score 120 which is above upper bound and Lily score 22 which is less than lower bound. Instead of just true false, if you want to mark the outliers as high or low, use a nested if. Use this formula. The first if returns low if the value is less than the lower bound, else the second if returns high if the value is greater than the upper bound, else an empty string. Copy the formula down. Values above upper bound are marked as high and values below lower bound are marked as low. Alternatively, you can also use conditional formatting to highlight the outliers. Select the range B2 to B14. In the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting button in the Styles group. Select New Rule. New Formatting Rule dialog box is opened. In the Select a Rule Type options, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. In the input box below, format values where this formula is true. Type this formula. This will return a true if the score is an outlier and false otherwise. Click on the format button. Format cells dialog box opens. 
select the formatting you want to apply to the selected rows. For example, to highlight the row which contains an outlier, click on Fill tab. Select a color from the background color options. Click on OK to close the Format Cells dialog box. Click on OK again to close the New Formatting Rule dialog box. The rows with outliers are highlighted with the selected color. You can also use the quartile.exe to calculate the quartiles. Quartile.inc is inclusive and quartile.exe is exclusive. We can refer to exclusive as a greater than formula and inclusive as a greater than or equal to formula. Exclusive calculations result in a wider interquartile range and fewer outliers than inclusive calculations. Use this formula to calculate the first quartile. Pass B2 to B14 as the array parameter. Pass 1 as the quart parameter. The formula returns the first quartile. To get the third quartile, pass 3 as quart parameter. Calculate IQR using this formula. IQR is 29 with quartile.exe and 20 with quartile.inc. The lower bound calculated with quartile.exe is 8.5 and which is less than that calculated by quartile.inc. So we have only one low outlier, 22 which is a low outlier when quartile.inc was used is not an outlier with the exe. The upper bound calculated with quartile.exe is 124.5 which is greater than that calculated by quartile.inc. So we have only one high outlier, 123 which is a high outlier when quartile.inc was used is not an outlier with exe. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.